Welcome to Noob Gaming Network. Did you know that you're guaranteed 36 exotic caches per week? I'll go into more detail on that soon. With this video I want to cover exotics, or more specifically, how to get them. Even now in 1.7.1 people are still asking how I get all of my exotics, and lately how I get so many ninja bike messenger bags. I mean seriously, I'm almost at the point where I'm deleting them before I even check the stats. As I said earlier, you're guaranteed 36 exotic caches per week. No chance or RNG involved, these are a done deal. In order from least to most effort required. Weekly assignment. This is by far the easiest to complete. You complete most of it without even realising. The most annoying part is having to complete 10 missions, but you have a week to do it so it's not exactly difficult. Completing this will give you one exotic cache. Survival assignment. Again, this one's quite easy. You don't even need to be particularly good at survival. All you need is a cumulative score of 20,000 points in survival before the end of the week. This can be done in one game, or 10. It doesn't really matter. Completing this will give you one exotic cache. Legendary missions. The legendary missions include Times Square Power Relay, Napalm Production Site, and Warren Gate Power Plant. Now these can be a little bit challenging if you haven't attempted them before, but with a team that knows what they're doing, even a bunch of randoms, it isn't too much of a job to get through these each week. If you're game, these can even be completed solo. If you're interested, I've left a link to a how-to guide in the description. Completing legendary missions will give you one exotic cache per mission completed, for a total of three exotic caches. Heroic Incursions. These take the most effort for a couple of reasons. One, you need a coordinated group. And two, incursions like Falcon Lost can be a little repetitive. In saying that, a lot of teams can complete Clear Sky in around five minutes, so that mission is worth looking at for an easy cache per week. Completing incursions will give you one exotic cache per mission completed, for a total of four exotic caches. So that's nine activities that guarantee you an exotic cache each week. If you did these on all four characters, you can get up to 36 caches per week. Admittedly, this sounds pretty damn painful. But if you're particularly desperate, this shows the farming potential for exotic caches. But this isn't the only way to get exotic items. There is also a chance to get exotics through other types of caches too. Field proficiency caches, underground caches, survival caches, and last stand caches, these all have a 1% chance of dropping an exotic. I was actually quite surprised by this, as I get an absolute ton from these, particularly the field proficiency caches. If there is a specific exotic that you're after, there are some that can be targeted through various missions or activities. Barrett's chess piece, dropped by the boss in Lexington Event Center at a drop rate of 1%. Bliss Holster drops from the boss in General Assembly at 2%. Joe Farrow's Mask drops from the boss in Napalm Production Site at 1%. Shortbow Knee Pads. These drop from the Madison Field Hospital boss at 1%. Skull MC Gloves. These drop from the Light Zone bosses at 1%. Caduceus and Tenebre. These drop from Light Zone bosses at 2%. Warlord and Medved, these drop from Challenging and Heroic Mode, Falcon Lost and Clear Sky Incursions at 5%. Golden Rhino, drops at 5% from the Fire Truck at Dragon's Nest. Hilder and Ur, drop at 2% chance from high value target bosses. Hungry Hog and Midas, these drop from the Dark Zone bosses at 2% drop rate. Thompson and Tommy Gun, these drop from Dark Zone Supply Drops and Contamination Events at an unknown percentage, but based on others it's likely to be around 1-2% chance. Urban MDR and Showstopper, drops from Challenging Mission Bosses at 2%. Bullfrog, Dark Zone Contamination Events at an unknown drop rate, but based on others it's likely to be a 1-2% chance. Any exotics not mentioned here do not have a known activity or boss drop location, and can only be found or acquired via cash drop. Anyone who's watched my videos will know that I love my cheat sheets, and this video isn't any different. I've included a cheat sheet to sum up everything we've talked about here at the end of the video. What exotic does RNG keep you from obtaining? Let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, if you found this useful, please leave a like, and sub to the channel if you'd like to hear more of me prattling on in the next video. Cheers!